Hello travelers and welcome to another Travel by Troy video. Today we're going to look at our recent trip to the Staybridge Suites at SeaWorld and SeaWorld Orlando. We stayed at the Staybridge Suites at SeaWorld uh, for our trip, as we spent two days at SeaWorld, but if you're also going to Aquatica or Discovery Cove location as prime as you're just minutes away from the parking. Hotel was fabulous, staff was great, um, very clean, breakfast was nice. Only downside I would say is that the bedding was a little firm for my liking. Um, these pictures were taken on our way out to come back home, so that's why things look a little messy. Uh, but you can kind of get a feel for the room. During our trip, we spent two days at SeaWorld. That way we can make sure we got everything in, so we opted not to go to Aquatica or Discovery Cove on this trip, but maybe we'll get there in the future. We really enjoyed uh, ourselves. We tried to stick to the rides that our little traveler could, could go on. Uh, they did enjoy Atlantis. Uh, it's not got the theming in the story of, say, Splash Mountain, but uh, there is a roller coaster section that was really fun, and so you're out of the water and it gets up to speed, and then there's another drop. Uh, so that was a neat surprise. We really enjoyed uh, all the shows with the dolphins and the orcas. Uh, there's a sea lion show. Our little traveler enjoyed it. Um, we It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but... There's a water cannon that will absolutely destroy some people that are sitting in the splash section, and that was fun to watch. Um, but overall, it was you know it was a good time. Had by all a uh, number of aquariums that you can walk through. One of them was really neat that you could walk under the stingrays and kind of see them from the bottom up. So that was an interesting perspective. SeaWorld also has a promotion that you can get a refillable drunk uh, drink mug not drunk, a drink mug or souvenir cup. Uh, you can get free refills all day. I think it's $10.99 the first day. And then after that, you know, the next day could be $0.99 cents for a refill or $5.99 uh, to get refills, uh, unlimited, uh, unlimited refills, I should say, which is nice. So when it's 90 degrees or hotter, um, you always have access to water, Powerade, soft drinks, ices, you know, something to cool off. So overall, we had a great time. Uh, SeaWorld did a, a good job of social distancing during this trip because it was right before they closed due to the virus. Uh, so in the theaters, they had every row marked off. Uh, on the second day, we did partake in the dolphin experience, which was neat. Uh, this area, you can meet a dolphin, get pictures from the professional photographers. They don't want you to have cameras close to the dolphins in case they think it's a toy or a fish. So you can pet dolphins, uh, they'll do tricks for you, they'll splash you a little bit, you don't get soaked, so you don't have to worry about that. And it was just a really great time to be kind of up close and, and something you don't get to do all the time, and, and pricing for it's not bad at all. Uh, so overall, we had a, we had a great time. Um, one of the other rides that we did was the penguins in Antarctica. The ride itself, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about, but the neat part is at the end you get to go into the penguin encounter and you're just inches from the penguins. There's a little bit of a smell because you are enclosed with a bunch of live penguins, um, but on a hot day it's great because it's about 30 degrees in the room and you're right there with, I think they said five or six different species of penguins. So if that's something you enjoy, you should really check that out. There's also a kids section uh, for Disney World, or not Disney World, this is SeaWorld. Um, in SeaWorld, they do have a parade. The parade wasn't going the days that we were there. My guess is it's because they didn't want people lined up together. But overall, it was a great trip. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, booking a trip, you can reach out to me. Of course, you can always like, share, subscribe, do all the things you know to do on YouTube if you want to help out the channel. And we'll see you next time. Can we come to get